We'll begin today by diluting our hydrochloric acid solution. This solution is approximately one molar, but a titration will be used to determine the exact concentration. The first step in making any such solution is to condition our volumetric pipette. This involves drawing up some solution using the bulb into the pipette and rinsing the inside of the glassware, which ensures constant concentration and removal of any impurities present. Then we can draw up an aliquot of 10.00 mils of our acid solution into our pipette. Please note that the pipette only dispenses 10.00 mils when the meniscus is on this specific line. Then we can transfer our aliquot to our volumetric flask. We can then dilute our solution to 100 mils in our volumetric flask. We should shake vigorously to ensure our solution is mixed. Note that our volumetric flask will measure exactly 100.00 mils when the meniscus is on this line. This solution is now called our diluted hydrochloric acid solution. We're now ready to prepare a sample for titration. To do so, we're going to use a 25 mil volumetric pipette. So again, to begin, we're going to condition our glassware to ensure constant concentration of solution and the removal of any impurities from our equipment. We'll roll the solution inside the glassware and dispense. We're now ready to draw up a 25.00 mil aliquot of our diluted hydrochloric acid solution. We can then transfer our solution to a 250 mil Erlenmeyer flask, which we'll call the reaction flask. In any titration, it's critical to always remember your indicator. In this experiment, our indicator will be phenolphthalein. We'll make sure to add a few drops to our reaction flask. To prepare for our titration, we'll take our burette and attach it to a stand using a burette clamp. And beneath that, we'll place a hot plate which we'll use for stirring. The first step in a titration is to condition our burette as we did before with our volumetric pipettes. To do this, we'll take a small amount of our titrant, which today is 0.09981 molar sodium hydroxide. We'll put a small amount of our titrant in our burette. We'll then roll the glassware to ensure the entire inside of our burette is coated with our solution. And return it to the burette clamp. Then, using a funnel, we can fill our burette with our titrant. It is essential in a titration to record the starting volume in the burette accurately. To begin our titration, we can put our reaction flask under our burette and turn on our stir on our hot plate. As we begin to dispense our titrant, we can move quickly at first, dispensing large amounts.
we'll keep a sharp eye on our reaction flask. Any sign of pink coloring in the reaction flask will want to slow down how much we're adding. When we see a faint pink color appear where the titrant meets the dilute hydrochloric acid solution, we should slow down how much we're adding. We should approach our end point drop-wise. When a faint pink color persists throughout the diluted hydrochloric acid solution, we've reached our end point. It is essential to record the final burette reading after a titration. You can see that a small amount of sodium hydroxide added to the reaction flask will turn our faint pink color to very bright. This is past the end point. We can now prepare another solution for titration as done before. We'll transfer 25.00 mL aliquot of our diluted hydrochloric acid solution to a clean 250 mL Erlenmeyer reaction flask. We won't forget to put our phenolphthalein indicator. Carefully record the starting burette volume. When doing a titration, it's important to ensure that the stop cock is appropriately installed. Stay tuned until after the video to see what happens when a stop cock is inappropriately installed during a titration. We'll now slow down how much titrant we're adding to the reaction flask as we begin to see pink color up here. We'll approach the end point dropwise until a faint pink color persists. Carefully record the final burette volume. Again, this color pink is past the end point. Let's now prepare our final solution for titration. We'll dispense a 25 mL aliquot of our dilute hydrochloric acid solution into a clean 250 mL Erlenmeyer reaction flask. Again, it's always important to make sure you remember your indicator phenolphthalein. We'll refill our burette one final time with our sodium hydroxide titrant and get an initial burette reading. Carefully record the starting burette volume. We'll conduct our titration as we've done before.
carefully record the final burette volume. Best of luck completing the lab with your group. Ask your instructor if you have any questions. As promised, here's what happens when you forget to ensure that your stopcock is properly installed.